If you've ever posted videos on YouTube, you've probably had comments like these at some point. People who also helpfully tell you how you can increase your views by just buying them. Isn't that kind of them? It's nice to know that complete strangers care so much about my growth on YouTube that out of the goodness of their hearts, they'll recommend methods of growing more quickly. Lucky me. Okay, I know there are tons of videos out there talking about this and even demonstrating how to do it on throwaway accounts. And I had an article come up on my feed recently that said that the only way to operate on YouTube these days was to buy views. So I'm not going to say that it doesn't work because it does to a point enough people have demonstrated it to show that if you want to waste your money pretending thousands of people are viewing your video when they're not your view counter will tell the world that they are. This in turn apparently tricks other potential viewers into watching the artificially inflated video because they've been fooled into thinking it's popular. I've seen a few people do this as well and it's often obvious when they do it but it's particularly obvious when they stop. But this isn't an exposed video, so I'm not going to be mentioning any names because I have mixed feelings about it, if I'm honest. On the one hand, I think it's a pointless thing to do as it's not sustainable. Yet I can understand why people are feeling driven to do it. Every day there are more and more videos being uploaded on YouTube and people panic that they're getting overlooked in a sea of ever increasing content. So they want to promote themselves to boost their videos above other people's. It's not really a secret that if you have a video with a lot of views, you're more likely to get more views because people will perceive it, rightly or wrongly, to be better quality. Plus YouTube will rank the higher viewed videos more and it doesn't really matter how good the video is once it gains traction. In fact, having a bad video these days can sometimes boost your views, as weird as that sounds. And I know if you ever watch videos from people who give advice on how to YouTube correctly, you'll hear such advice as doing brilliant thumbnails, uploading quality videos in terms of visuals and audio, upload on a regular schedule and so on. Yet I'm sure we've all seen videos with hundreds of thousands of views that didn't follow that formula for success. Assuming you consider view count alone as the measure of success, they are successful. Yet they'll have a terrible screen grab thumbnail, a bad like to dislike ratio, bad video quality and all the comments will be saying what an awful video it is and be questioning why it was recommended to them. But ironically this negative feedback actually boosts bad videos because YouTube only considers the engagement with the video and not what the engagement was or whether it was positive. Ironically, if you dislike a video, hoping YouTube will realise that you hate a particular video and or YouTuber, it actually has the opposite result. You're boosting that YouTuber's performance in YouTube's eyes. Their videos will be promoted more and even worse, they'll suggest them to you more because they see that you interacted with the video. So not only are you helping the person and or video that you potentially hate, you're going to be bombarded with their content which is probably the opposite of what you wanted. As one YouTuber recently said, the best way to ensure you never see their videos these days is to subscribe to them. I'm not saying that every video with high views is bought, by the way. I want to make that clear. I'm just using this as an example of how, despite what we keep getting told by YouTube and by people determined to teach us to YouTube, that it's not always as simple as doing better videos equals more views. So you can kind of see why some people get sucked into buying views, particularly as some people say that you have no chance of being seen if you don't. And I know some people counter this by saying it's against the rules, but I'm not totally convinced about that because even YouTube will let us game the system by allowing us to pay them to put our own videos in front of other users videos in the form of an advert. By the way, I've never done this just to be clear, even if I wanted to, I don't have that kind of money, but YouTube does keep suggesting it to me as though I have a spare 20 grand knocking about that I might want to invest in self promotion. So why do some videos blow up when they're not that great? Thankfully I can use one of my own videos to discuss this because I've got no interest in starting a war with some other video creator. That's not what this is about. It's about the capricious nature of the algorithm and why it drives people to try and get a head start by purchasing views. So in terms of views, this is my best video. I uploaded this in April nearly two years ago. And when I first uploaded it, it did exactly the same as any other video of mine. Initially, I got a few views and then it tapered off to a trickle of one or two a day until suddenly in August, it started to grow. You can literally see on the graph that for the first three months, there was virtually nothing. And then for some reason it took off. And I want to clarify that when I say it took off, I mean this in the context of my typical performance. I'm well aware that this is by no means a viral video. But for one of my videos, it has done curiously well. And it's all the more curious because this is an older video and by no means the best quality video I've uploaded. Don't get me wrong, I'm not claiming that any of my videos are perfect, but the further back you go, the worse they get. I'm not fishing for compliments here either. This is the normal evolution of a channel. That's my point. With every video I do, I try and improve upon the last one. I'd like to think that I have learned as I've gone along and hopefully my videos have got better as I've improved my setup, bought better equipment and learned how to edit. 
and also taken the tips and constructive criticism from people who've watched my videos to learn what I need to add to make my videos easier to follow and understand and also things to remove. And this is a process that takes time, which is why I aim to improve my videos incrementally. But every early video, I see it as an opportunity to learn what didn't work, what not to do again. And this is a slow process of development, which is at odds with the overnight success dream people are being sold. So the fact that this video was the one that grew and to this day is my best performing video is mystifying. I mean, it's not the worst video I've done, but it's certainly not the best either. It just demonstrates that what YouTube picks up will not necessarily be your best content in direct contradiction to what we are told to believe. And I think people notice this and this drives them to buy views because they see uploading a good video as not being enough to get noticed. And let's face it, they're not completely wrong about that which is why some people are tempted into buying views. And if you don't know where to go to buy views, don't worry, somebody will be along in your comment section as soon as you've uploaded a couple of videos to tell you where you can go and do it. And I've got to say I'm touched by the fact that this guy cared so much about my growth online that he told me how to stack the deck in my favour. I'm sure it's absolutely not because he's either the site owner or an associate with a vested financial interest in persuading people to buy fake views. Because I don't mean to disappoint anybody, but if you buy views, they're not real views. If let's say you buy 50,000 views, you won't have 50,000 people sitting through your videos. I mean, really, if you're going to fake it, you might as well open 50,000 browsers and view it yourself and save yourself however much it would cost to get somebody else to pretend to watch it. Anyway, as always, this is just my opinion, really. I'm not telling you what to do. Do what you want. I'm not your mum.